how to choose the right Montessori school for your child. It's open enrollment time, or you're just looking to switch your child into a different kind of school. And you found out about Montessori and now you're like, all right, now what do I look for when choosing a Montessori school? Well, stick around because I got that answer for you. Hi, I'm Rena Etienne, Montessori teacher here to help you grow in your homeschool and parenting journey. Now, if you want to continue to get more insight like this on a weekly, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you find value in the video, give it a thumbs up, please. All right, so let's talk about how to choose a Montessori school for your child. Now, you are probably going to go on a basic Google search. You're going to get on the computer and, you know, type in Montessori schools in whatever your zip code is. Schools are going to pop up and this is where you're probably going to start making your list, right? Now, I encourage you to kind of pump the brakes here and slow down. Instead of actually doing a Google search for Montessori schools in your area, what you want to do is check out the links below in the description that will help you find accredited Montessori schools in your area. So why is that important? Well, you are looking to put your child in a Montessori school, which means you're looking for something really specific and you want for your child to be in an environment that is an actual Montessori environment, right? You want the teachers to be certified and for the school to be following this curriculum and philosophy. Unfortunately, there are schools that state that they are Montessori or Montessori inspired and they actually are not. They don't have Montessori teachers. They probably have Montessori lessons, but um, they are not being used in the way that the curriculum has intended to and so this can be very misleading that's why it's important that you're going to look for schools that have a certified montessori teachers that way you're getting the quality education that you're looking for now there are a lot of alternative schools that are child-centered and may have some montessori inspired um, materials and they try to incorporate other philosophies within them and that is great but you want to understand how to make the distinction between a Montessori school and something that is Montessori inspired, which is why you want to use the links below to help you find accredited Montessori schools in your area. So once you check out those links, you're going to find um, schools in your area, you're going to start calling them around and then they're going to ask you to schedule a tour. And this is going to be a great opportunity for you to actually check out the school and for you to ask your questions and for you to understand more about what the Montessori philosophy is all about so that you're prepared and can make an informed decision on how to choose the right school for your child. Now tours are great because you are going to get a chance to meet the administrators to see the school and hopefully you'll be able to see Montessori in action. So before 2020 many Montessori schools allowed for parents to come in during the work cycle time, which means parents would be able to see Montessori in action, right? Parents would be able to see children actually working on the lessons and the teachers in the environment and being able to get a visual understanding of what it's all about. Now, after 2020, things have changed, right? Many schools for safety and health reasons may not allow for parents to come in and tour the school while children are there. So this may be a little bit more difficult for you to actually see Montessori in action. However, you're still gonna get a chance to understand what the philosophy is all about and how the school um, basically conducts throughout the day and what your child's day is gonna be like, right? You're probably gonna find that each school that you call around is gonna have a different way in how they handle their parent tours. Either way, whatever it looks like, take the opportunity to schedule a tour. Now, I suggest that before going to a tour, make your list of personal questions, like your mama bear, papa bear questions, right? In your head, you have questions specifically about your child and you want to understand how the school is going to help meet whatever current situation your child is going through. Let's say your child is doing some form of therapy or your child is in the middle of toilet training. You want to understand how the school is going to help meet your child's needs within the Montessori environment. So those are your personal mama bear and papa bear questions. Then when you get to the school, you're going to have your separate questions about the Montessori philosophy that will most likely come up after you get a feel for the school and how it's set up and whatnot. So, so be sure to have your personal questions as to how the school is gonna help meet your child's needs within that Montessori environment. That way you feel so much more at ease and you feel like to be able to make a more informed decision on which school is actually gonna be right for your child. So a suggested question that you might wanna add to this list is how is the school going to 
transition from being in person to online. So after 2020, many schools have learned to adapt being online and in person. So you want to understand how each school that you're looking at is going to transition from in person to online because this is really important for you to understand what your expectations are in the event that you have to go online. And um, this will help you be more prepared as well to help your child succeed at both at school and at home. Then from there, it's really gonna be up to you which school you think is going to be right for your child. It really comes down to the feeling that you have when you first walk in, to how helpful the administrators were in uh, answering your questions and you know whatever your expectations that you have as a parent if you feel like you got a bunch of check marks on them then you know you're good to go right only you know what is right for your child if you find that you checked out montessori schools and you're like mm, you know what i don't think that i want my child to go to montessori school for whatever reason you've came up with that is cool too just because you hear this big rave about how the montessori environment is so beneficial to every child which it is and um you know i not every parent finds that the montessori philosophy is in line with their parenting and they may not want their child to have that kind of educational approach and that is okay you have to honor whatever it is that you are feeling however it is that you want your child to be guided and if you find that montessori is not that that's cool but at least you got to um, check it out and you know that for yourself as a Montessori teacher I have to say that it has Montessori has been the best thing that has ever happened to me in my personal life and my child's life and I am a true advocate for the philosophy and how it helps a child live up to their potential so um, I hope that you get a chance to check out a school that you end up falling in love with and seeing your child flourish and that your child gets to gain many learning moments there all right, well, I hope this was helpful. Remember, if you found this valuable, give it a thumbs up. Um, send any questions or comments that you may have. Check out those links below to help you find a accredited Montessori school in your area. And thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.